We're in the hyperspace lounge. This is so cool. We're on a ship in a ship. Hyperspace lounge is very, very cool. It's a pretty small space, but that screen is impressive. It's in 1923 for breakfast. 1923 is actually divided into two sides. There's a Roy side and a Walt side. I don't even know what side we're on, but this is a very nice restaurant. So we wanted to try this for breakfast. We were eating here for dinner tonight. Uh, the breakfast menu was pretty um, simple. Um, I ordered the uh, smoked salmon with cream cheese and capers uh, to start, and then I got a breakfast hash. I got a little plate of fruit to start, and then I got the very, very French toast with bacon and hash browns. I'm getting ready to meet Donald and Daisy. Oh, you guys are just the cutest. Oh, I love you too. Okay, let's get a good one with the camera. I just love them. <laughs> We're heading up the long set of stairs to the tower suite. So we are just in the living area and have seen the kitchen and it is incredible. I am so excited to see the rest of this place. So this space is the kids area. Looks like there is probably a Murphy bed that's folding down out of the wall in there. And then there is a really elegant bathroom for kids um, off that room. And then come back through the main living area and then I'm about to head up the spiral staircase and see what's upstairs. So beautiful. So there was a, a separate entrance to that little like kids room downstairs or that extra room. Um, so that's kind of cool. We've made it to the kids area. So upstairs there are two king suites and then one kids area with two bunk beds. Of course its own bathroom and a very starry sky. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is cool. <laughs> this thing is amazing. It is about 2,000 square feet. It sleeps eight people. I could fit 30 people in here, but it officially sleeps eight people. There are six uh, spots for six people sleeping upstairs, and then that Murphy bed downstairs that folds out. So two king rooms, a kid's room with bunk beds up, and then a Murphy bed queen size that folds down downstairs. We are heading up to deck 13 forward to check out a two bedroom concierge suite. These suites are simply amazing. The tower suite was unbelievable and I'm sure this one is going to be breathtaking as well. Honestly, you can keep the tower suite. I want this two bedroom concierge. Look at this hot tub back here. Yeah. This deck is huge. It's incredible. The other one didn't even have an outside veranda. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. That two bedroom concierge is my favorite. Hands down. This is the Princess Aurora suite. It is 13,000 concierge level, obviously level 13. Um, it's amazing. Like that is hands down better than the tower suite. You like it? Oh my gosh, yeah, I wanna move in there. <laughs> Forget the tower suite. Forget the tower suite. <laughs> okay, so we were able to see a, a concierge one bedroom suite, a, a two bedroom, the Princess Aurora suite. It was uh, the royal two story Princess Aurora suite uh, with the most incredible balcony that I've ever seen in my life. And then we saw the tower suite. The two story is definitely my favorite. All right, it is lunchtime, and we're gonna try a little Donald's Cantina, some Mexican food. This is a new addition to Disney Cruise Line. Uh, lettuce, pico. There are some really fun, new, great-looking restaurants um, around this pool area on deck 11. The area is called Mickey and Friends Festival of Foods, and you can get uh, barbecue, you can get ice cream, of course, you can get Mexican, Donald's Cantina, you can do Daisy's Pizza Pies and Goofy's Grill. The Mexican and barbecue is definitely new. I absolutely look forward to trying both of those. And this looks pretty fantastic. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this, this bowl is pretty legit. My lovely wife 
went and got us margaritas. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Bennings is having pizza, and he got two pieces, and he went back for two more, but he came back with four more. So I think we are going to throw on our swimsuits and try to ride the Aqua Mouse. It just opened at noon. Um, this is a weird cruise in that some of the stuff is closed at odd times, like the kids club is closed all day today for some reason. I think they're doing like previews and stuff in there. Um, so, just gotta work around it. Lots of media and radio stations and all kinds of people here, so it is what it is. Let's see if we can hit up this Aqua Mouse though. I've heard good things. All right, so Aqua Mouse was super cool. Um, I rode it with Jennings. He did not want to ride it at first, but he ended up loving it. Um, right now, they are only letting two people ride. So it's a two-person raft, but you should be able to ride with one or two people. One is if you're 48 inches, um, and I think you have to be 42 inches to ride it. It was it was pretty good. It was really super short, and we waited for about 35 minutes in line to do it. So not really sure that it's 100% worth it. I probably won't do it again, but it was fun to do once. Space Lounge. We have dinner in half an hour, so hopefully we can get a drink and enjoy this and get out of here. Yeah, because we're gonna have to make this fast. It is kind of cool, like the um, the screen, like you jump every six minutes to a new planet, so that's fun. But really, I mean, it all has to do with that screen over there. I'm not sure what I got, but it looks fantastic. Sparkly. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an old-fashioned in a wine glass with a giant ice cube. It's very good, actually. And I got the Chancellor, which she compared to like a sidecar. But it's also very good. Hyperspace Lounge is okay. I think it's a little overhyped because of the screen back there, but um, it's okay. It's not horrible. It's it's good. Yeah. So we just left the Hyperspace Lounge where we got these drinks which are honestly okay, they're fine. It's a little gimmicky, but I don't need glitter in my whiskey. <laughs> He's upset about the glitter. I have, I have glitter in my whiskey. It's fine, I guess. The glitter makes it less manly according to Aiden. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. So... I've got some lamb here. I've got a filet mignon. I just tried my first bite of the pasta. I feel like I had that moment like Remy had, right? Where all the fireworks go off. This place has been absolutely I amazing. I have adore loved it. it. 1923 has really kind of blown me away. It's been good. 1923 not only blew us away for dinner, it also blows away yeah, for breakfast. It's good for breakfast too. All right, so we're getting ready to experience the pirate parlay party. I'm so excited. Yeah. Pirates at sea. It's Pirates Night here on Disney Cruise Line. Disney Wish. I didn't think we were gonna get Pirates Night tonight, but we did. I'm very excited about this. I don't know where Aiden is. This is gonna be good. It is starting in four minutes. I'm very excited for this.
and honestly, that was a lot more fireworks than I even remember on Pirate Night. That was crazy. That was great. It was good, and the band was incredible. Yeah. They were so good. Yeah, no, that was really, really good. Love it. Love yeah. it.